Hey guys, Instantina Plus got bigger with its new update 2.0, featuring a brand new category to clean up everything of your mesh what's non manifold. And there's a new setting to clean up all material doubles in one single click. To round it all off, the performance increased as well. So stay tuned. Before we dive deeper into all the new features, we have to update Instantly. To do so, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for Instant Clean and remove it. Then reset Blender. Back in Blender where we left off, press Install and navigate to the .zip file of the new Instant Clean version. Double click it to install it. Finally enable the add-on and we are ready to go. Opening Instant Clean, the first thing you'll notice is the new category Manifold. It consists of six all new features to make your mesh as manifold as possible. The first feature lets you fill any holes in your mesh that have less or equal sides than this maximum sides option right here. Which means in practice, then this face wouldn't exist, this hole will be closed when executing the category. But when I delete this face, the resulting hole would not be closed because it has more sides than four. This is useful when you have some huge openings in your mesh you don't want to close, right? The remaining settings are divided into two subcategories. With the first one concentrating on removing non-manifold geometry, such as non-manifold faces. Non-manifold faces are faces with edges which are connected to more than two faces. Non-manifold vertices are vertices connecting two parts of a mesh, like this word here. They can cause shading issues, modifier issues, as well as 3D printing problems. To eliminate them, instant clean, define them and split them, thus not connecting the parts of the mesh anymore. The last option allows you to dissolve edges that are not connected to any faces or simply via geometry. The second block is all about making your face as planar as possible and Understood does it by triangulating distorted faces up to this angle of distortion. So I only want to triangulate my heavy distorted faces like this one and keep the light distorted face like this as it is. So I go with a slightly higher angle of 5 degrees. And as you can see, this face got split into two triangles which are always planar, right? And this face was ignored just like we wanted to. The last feature of the manifold category is flattened faces which actually can prevent the need of the understood faces function by flattening all non-planar faces. You can also set the strength and the number of iterations. That's finishing off the new manifold category and I hope it will save you a lot of time. And speaking from time, there's another huge new feature hiding in the object data category, a one-click solution for material doubles. This works by name, meaning all materials with the same base name, but a different suffix will be merged into a single one. And you can also choose to delete them from the memory right away if you want. So the circle, the overall performance got also improved by roughly 10 to 20%, depending on the settings of course. These were the highlights of Instant Clean 2.0, though I encourage you to take a look into the changelog 
and the documentation where all the features are explained in detail as well as the one or other minor news heading of this update. If you want to be the first who knows about what new add-ons are coming or which features will be implemented or even request one, feel free to join me on Discord. There will be also special release offers you don't want to miss when a new add-on gets released. So check out the link in the description. I also appreciate if you could like the video and subscribe to my channel to keep yourself up to date with what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.